Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, write a program in Selenium to return the number of rows and columns in a web table. Let me answer with the help of XPath expressions. Especially if you are good with XPath expressions, it's very easy to write a code in Selenium automation to retrieve the number of rows and number of columns in a table. Let me practically demonstrate how to do that. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have the sample Selenium automation code, which is already written for opening the Chrome browser, for maximizing the browser. And here we need to open the application URL in the browser. I'll take the sample application that is omai.blogspot.com. I'll copy this URL and paste it here. Once I open this application URL in the browser, here we have a web table, right? Here we have a table. So in this table, I would like to get the number of rows and number of columns. So let me first inspect this uh, table and uh, create some XPath expressions, which can give you the count of, okay? The count of number of uh, rows and number of columns, okay? So this is a table. I'll use this uh, selectors hub add-on, okay? It's not compulsory, but if you use it, it's kind of more. Or uh, without using it, let's try it once. So it has a table has an ID. Copy this. Control F double slash table at the rate ID is equal to give the ID. The table got located. Under the table, all the rows are mentioned with TR tag. So double slash TR you see. Total how many came? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Total five rows, right? One, two, three, four, five. You can see that in the UI. First row, second row. Third row, fourth row, fifth row. Okay, like that. So this is a this XPath expression will give us how many rows are there. Okay, so I'll simply write down the code like this. Driver dot instead of find element, I'll say find elements. Here I'll say by dot XPath because find elements can look at multiple elements. The XPath expression which can return you multiple rows. So here I'll simply say uh, rows. Okay, rows uh, for the most and uh, create the list of web elements will come as a return type of this find elements. And here I'll simply write down system.out.println. Okay, system.out.println rows. Dot. Here list is a collection. So from collections framework, we got the list. So rows. Dot, there is a predefined command known as size in Java in collections to get the number of rows. Okay, rows. Dot size. If you print it out, it will print the count of the rows. Okay. So I'll simply say rows count colon plus rows dot size. Okay, this will get you the number of rows in the table. Similarly, I'll create an XPath expression which will get us the number of columns in the table. So the number of columns is equal to number of table headings. Name, age, place are the table headings. Here th tag is there. Simply I'll say th here instead of tr. So it's giving you three, one of three. So second, first, second, third. Okay, you can see on the UI. First column is name, second column is age, third column is place. Okay, copy this XPath expression and come back here and write down driver dot. Again, find elements you have to say because this XPath expression is going to give you multiple columns. So, multiple element columns. Okay, so put a semicolon here and say COLS. COLS means columns. And the return type is obviously again the same list of web elements for the find elements. And uh, here, write down system.out.println, system.out.println columns dot size again the same command in collections that is size using which we can get the number of columns after that i'll simply quit the browser so that in output console we'll get uh, this uh, number of rows printed number of columns printed here i'll just add some text so that uh, it will be better columns count columns count plus okay done now run the code and it'll get you the number of uh, rows and columns in that given table. Let's wait for the output. You see number of uh, rows, rows count is equal to five, columns count is equal to three, that's correct, right? One, two, three, four, five rows, one, two, three columns, done. So hope guys you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session, thank you, bye-bye.